Well, welcome back, everybody, to BRS here for a Wednesday uh, here in March, and uh, spring's right around the corner, getting some nice temperatures. Some of y'all might remember, maybe new uh, viewers have not seen this, uh, or new subscribers. This was done uh, on a shop-made tool back uh, early part of 2021, and it's called a drill tree. And the drill tree comes in handy once again. Now, those that are new viewers, we'll go through this scenario one more time. That's a J.D. Wallace 1950 radial arm saw. Belonged to my grandfather, and uh, we love this thing to death. Uh, I've got it turned up here for this fixture. This is a multi-purpose uh, drill tree. English wheel as well. We'll go on that in just a minute. But you can see I've got it cranked up almost to the top. The objective to for today was to show you, and I was doing the removal of the uh, anoid rod, and I had to drill down through this particular hot water tank, this 60, uh, had a Allen head in it. And prior... Last oh, two years ago, I put the uh, big heavy-duty uh, Allen in there with an impact, not this one, my 125. And, of course, it stripped it right out. I did try first to put this, uh, you know, this is a 200-plus uh, uh, impact. It was in that estate sale. I think it got some wallop. But... You start to see it start rounding the corner just a hair here on the uh, hexagon part of the uh, inch and sixteenth. Call it a uh, 26 millimeter, 25 millimeter. Anyhow, I ended up uh, the camera shut off, but I've uh, used the drill tree to drill out the center, which let that get weak. Can't throw a bunch of heat in here on these things, guys. Even put some iodine on it prior a couple of years ago. Didn't break it loose. These things, when they're stuck, buddy, they're stuck. But the drill tree, really, the most practical thing, I think, is a shop-built tool. One of them that I have built. And, of course, that motor came off of that drill press over there at 1944. And uh, that is a true delta. And uh, this one here is a newer rock wall uh, division, the Delta rock wall. You know, this head is nothing compared to that one. And I would put that one over here, but it weighs about 40 more pounds. And there's a reason for it, because it's well built. But there's where uh, Mr. Brian Hainer over at Metal Shaper uh, coat rack is right below it. This is just going to be a mixed bag today. It's going to be this Marshall Town number 18 that uh, wonderful, I've already showed it on a video, oh, three weeks ago on a Tuesday, Mr. Pepper brought in, and we're going to clean this thing up. There is no casting damage at all, and it's going to be a nice conversational piece. We're going to mount it onto the... Uh, swivel bed and be another contribute to uh honoring people that uh help not only help but uh teach and you know uh if you guys aren't watching metal shaper you're losing out on a valuable bunch of information uh, we don't keep giving him shout outs but he is a close friend they're keeping up with us with the uh, battle for the wife on the cancer as well thank you uh, brian and maria uh, BC Block, uh, all the subscribers, Tom over there at Hilltop Machinery, DJ, it goes on and on. Let's get back on this short video, what we're trying to sh show today. But with this, uh, being able, I, I'm at uh, 50 inches off the floor to the chuck. Just worked out like a champ. Drilled out, impact out, yes. Now, the aluminum stink rod, going to have to turn this thing upside down, tried to fish it out with a wire. Almost had it, but uh, 
That'll get done. This hot water heater needs to replace the one in the house. It smells so bad that I don't even want to have company. Okay, I did a little short clip on uh, the Milwaukee portable hand bench type saw, and I made a comment. Got a magnet on it. Made a comment that this swivels. It does, but I forgot to say it's also pinned here through with a uh, uh, quarter 20, it, but it's also got movement. I can move this thing about an eighth of an inch swivel if I needed to, but it just worked out. Let's put our wax ring here. Not advertising for the old uh, auto supply, but man, I tell you what, that cup comes in handy. Take it over there by the uh, uh, drill bit sharpener, put my water can in it and move it all around the shop. I got two or three of them. Let's set this thing here in the tripod, get a little bit focused. Let's make its second cut. I already made one. I am really pleased with this. It's gonna be a very useful saw out in the field here in the shop. Got our stand on it. Let's make a thin cut with this thing, guys. And uh, anybody that's got a table like this, we are looking for one for my dear friend, neighbor, Mr. Pepper. After he brought me his saw identical to this, he's got to have a table. Wax up the ring, the, the blade, put her in the holder. See if we can get you a good view of this. Nice cut. I got the blade set nice and true. And that was quick, uh, quick cutting right there. Love it. Now for drill stem pipe, let's get rid of that. It recommends and feeds and charts, and I could I need to slow down on drill stem, but on the back of the uh, Milwaukee blade is the chart. And this one that we've got is an 18, but we would be using a 10 uh, tooth per inch on drill stem. And I really don't like cutting drill stem with a hacksaw, bandsaw, any kind of saw. I like to cut it with a torch. And then, uh, you know, out in the field. But uh, when you buy one of these saws, uh, saw blades gives you a chart. And, yep, gonna get back on the glop here soon. That's gotta get wrapped up. And uh, with the bride being fighting this big old cancer tumor, uh, man, I sure miss her out here. I guess I better quit saying that because I need her out here real bad. And uh, let's get the camera out here a minute. Y'all, uh, please uh, come back and visit, please share. Love all my viewers and subscribers, and uh, may y'all have a great spring. Come back uh, to Vare's Rod Shop often, see what else we can get into. One last look at the saw. She just worked out Jim Dandy. But anybody's got an old uh, Milwaukee base that will, or a base that will fit the uh, Milwaukee. Let me put this up in the air. I don't think I've got time to fabricate one for my neighbor, and he's looking for one. Uh, send me some comments and how much you need for it, and we will sure get in contact with you. And uh, we'll be looking forward to this Marshalltown uh, restoration on this. Not going to be nothing but a major tear down, clean up, reassemble, and uh, put a little plaque there by uh, Mr. Pepper being donating uh, to us here in 2000 and 22. Y'all take care. One last look at the drill tree. Anybody's got any questions, comments, anybody's got one of those J.D. Wallace rigid uh, radial arm saws wants to do that. You know, uh, you see underneath, 
There's for the bottom rollers for the uh, English wheel. And I have the adapter. Somebody wants to see it one day, just give me a shout, show you how it hooks up. And this course uh, turns upside down. That whole spindle comes off and you go down to 12 inches off the floor with a drill head. So it's just a unique piece and uh, we're proud of it. Come back and visit, we're out of here.